Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Hello, I'm back. <laughs> Chapter 47. Then Joseph went and told Pharaoh and said, My father, my brothers, their flocks, their herds, and all that they possess have come from the land of Canaan. And indeed, they are in the land of Ganush. And he took five men from among his brothers and presented them to Pharaoh. Then Pharaoh said to his brothers, what is your occupation? And they said to Pharaoh, they said to Pharaoh, your servants are shepherds, both we and also our fathers. And they said to Pharaoh, we have come to dwell in the land because our servants have no pasture for their flocks. For the famine is severe in the land of Canaan. Now, therefore, please let your servants dwell in the land of Ganesh. And the Pharaoh spoke to Joseph, saying, Your father, your brothers, have come to you. The land of Egypt is before you. Have your father and brothers dwell in the best of the land. Let them dwell in the land of Ganesh. And if you know any competent, competent men among them, then make them chief herdsmen over my livestock. Then Joseph brought his father Jacob and set him before Pharaoh. And Jacob blessed Pharaoh, and Pharaoh said to Jacob, How old are you? And Jacob said to Pharaoh, The days of the years of my pil pilgrimage are 130 years. Few and evil have been the days of the years of my life, and they have not atoned to the days of years of life of my fathers in the days of their pilgrimage. So Jacob blessed Pharaoh and went out before Pharaoh. Now Joseph situated his father and his brothers and gave them possession in the land of Egypt, in the best of the land, in the land of Ramses, as Pharaoh had commanded. Then Joseph provided his father and brothers and all his father's household with bread, according to number in their families. Joseph deals with a famine. Now there was no bread in all the land. For the famine was very severe, so that the turn the page, <laughs> so that the land of Egypt and land of Canaan languished because of the famine. Joseph gathered up all the money that was found in the land of Egypt and land of Canaan, for the grain which they brought bought, and Joseph bought the money to Pharaoh's house. So when the money failed in the land of Egypt and the land of Canaan, all the Egyptians came to Joseph and said, Give us bread, for why should we die in your presence? For the money has failed. Then Joseph said, Give your livestock, and I will give you bread for your livestock, if the money is gone. So they brought their livestock to Joseph, and Joseph gave them bread in exchange for the horses, the flocks, cattle, the herds, and for the donkeys. Thou say fled, fed them with bread in exchange for their livestock that year. When that year had ended, they came to him the next year and said to him, We will not hide from my Lord that our money is gone. My Lord also has our herds and livestock. There is nothing left in the sight of my Lord but our bodies and our lands. Why should we die before your eyes, both we and our land? Buy us and our land for bread, and we and our land will be servants of Pharaoh. Give us seed that they may live and not die, that the land may not be desolate. Then Joseph brought all the land of Egypt for Pharaoh. For every man of the Egyptians sold his field because of the famine was, was severe upon them. So land became Pharaoh's. As for the people, he moved them in the cities from one end of the borders of Egypt to the other end. Only the land of the priests did he not buy, for the priests had rations atoned, allotted to them by Pharaoh. They ate their rations which Pharaoh gave them, therefore they did not sell their lands. Then Joseph said to the people, Indeed, I have bought you, and your land this day for Pharaoh. Look, here is seed for you, and you shall sow the land. It shall come to pass in the harvest that you shall give one-fifth to the Pharaoh. Four-fifths shall be your own, 
as seed for the field and for your food, for those of your household as for your little ones. So they said, You have saved our lives. Let us find favor in the sight of my Lord, and we will be Pharaoh's servants. And Joseph made it a law over the land of Egypt to this day. The Pharaoh had one-fifth set for the land of priests, only which did not become Pharaoh's. Joseph's vow to Jacob. So Israel dwelt in the land of Egypt in the country of Ganesh, and they had prospered. They have, excuse me, not prosper. They have possessions there and grew and multiplied seemingly. Jacob lived in the land of Egypt 17 years. So the length of Jacob's life was 147 years. When the time drew near that Israel must die, he called his son Joseph and said to him, Now if I have found favor in your sight, please put your hand under my thigh and deal kindly and truly with me. Please do not bury me in Egypt, but let me lie with my fathers. You shall carry me out of Egypt and bury me in the burial place. And he said, I will do as you have said. Then he said, Swear to me. And he swore to him. So Israel bowed himself on, bowed himself on the head of the bed. Anyway, that's famine ding dear severely for the Egyptians, and it's probably because a lot of the Egyptians kept their focus on their gods instead of on God Himself. If they worshipped God Himself, I guarantee you they would have survived like the Israelites did. Um. Yeah, but you can see that basically Pharaoh ended up own ended up owning everything, well, except the priests, because the priests uh, had their own, you tell, had their own supplies and food that they could eat, so they were fine. But it was the people of the Egyptian people, the land that did not, so they basically sold their livestock, sold their land and themselves as servants to the Pharaoh. So Pharaoh basically ended up owning everything in Egypt except for the priest and what the priest owned and what the Israelites owned. So, yeah, pretty bad. Pharaoh can be pretty bad. Wreck the, wreck the land, which is not good. But anyway, go ahead and pray. Dear Heavenly Father, let this message reach people. Let them open their heart. Let your message of love get to the people. Your word, your loving word, Father. In Jesus' heavenly name, amen. I will talk to you there. Bye.